how is it going? Okay, let's get this little adjusted here. Okay, yeah, so productivity, tools to help you get some momentum and get going on your goals for 2019. Who doesn't want something like that? Of course, I've got Milo hanging out down here, and my name's Brooke Oaks. If you have not joined me before, please go ahead and say hi. Introduce yourself if you have been on here before. Go ahead and say hi as well. I'd love to say hi back. So productivity. There are so many things requiring your attention every day. And I have three tips to help you start getting some momentum and getting some action going so you can start executing on your goals, right? So for one, to be productive, you need to have a daily method of operation. Why is that important? A daily method of operation is going to keep you on target. It's going to allow you to create the things that you need to do every single day, right? So if you're not working on specific actions, you're not going to be able to get clear on where you are. You're not going to be able to measure how far you're going, where you're from, anything like that. So first you need to get really clear on your vision in order to to demonstrate and develop and build your daily method of operation. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. So your vision, if you have a plan for 2019, you're off to a great start. And I'll tell you why. First things that you need to have is an idea of what you want to accomplish. Because if you're not aiming for anything, you don't know where you're going, right? So first thing, develop your vision. Um, you know, I'm reading this really neat book and it was not what I expected. Um, it's the connection algorithm. And if you are in my book club, um, you know what's going on a little bit with it. But originally when you read the title, you feel like it's going to be all about the connections that you make with people. But the connection algorithm is focusing on the connections that you make in your head to work on where you're going, your actions, who you're talking with, anything like that, right? So get really clear on your vision. You're gonna use your vision to create your daily method of operation. So now those are gonna be the actions that you're working on every single day. Who you're talking to, the content that you create, what you're posting, when you're posting, uh, the topics that you're covering. So your daily method of operation is going to cover a wide variety of things, right? But you want to be clear on your vision so you know which ones, which actions are going to fit into getting you to your vision, right? Those things that are gonna give you the building blocks and help you get the steps going where you want to go, right? So number three, in this entire thing, you've got your vision, you've got your daily method of operation, and the third thing that you need is a plan. So you know the actions that you need to be taking. You need to plan them out. You need to focus on when it is you're going to be doing each thing. When can you squeeze it in? Do you have five or 10 minutes in between going from work to home or, on your lunch before you go in, like maybe you're standing in line, you can spend five or 10 minutes talking with someone. Fit in those specific actions and plan it out because you don't wanna focus on something that's gonna take a long time when you've only got five or 10 minutes. So be intentional, right? You wanna be intentional with the things that you are doing. So um, if you have not grabbed it yet, I do have a free content creation planner that I have made for my community and um, I offer it to you along with it. You get free access to my blog and newsletter and it goes through what you can do, uh, how to get your engagement going and how to get more visibility on Facebook, right? Everyone's always like, oh, I want more visibility. I want more people seeing my stuff. Well, there are actions that you need to be taking. So if you don't have a planner or if you need help uh, mapping out your planner, um, this content creation planner can help you get there because it'll give you the ideas and actions that you can do. 
and you can adjust it to your needs, right? Obviously, and nothing's set in stone. Everyone's got a different schedule, but it gives you an idea of things that you can do. So if you got value from this, please feel free to share. If uh, you've got some questions, please feel free to reach out. You know, um, I've got some big things coming and I told you all about that course that I hopped into and I've got a few of you joining me, which is super exciting. So while a few of us are gonna be in this together, getting some momentum, um, so get clear on your vision. I challenge you before the end of January to have a clear vision of what it is that you want to accomplish by the end of 2019, right? So what it is that you want to get to and you're going to create your plan. And if you need some help with that, I am in this really cool community. I can show you what we're doing. Um, It'll be, it's gonna be a great year, guys. You know, every year we say it's gonna be a great year, but you need to have that focus. You need to have that mindset. Hey, Karina, good to see you. Um, we haven't talked in forever. I'm gonna have to send you a message. So get clear on 2019. Make it as great as we say it's going to be. And remember, the better you are at mapping everything out, the easier it's going to be for you because you can measure what it is that you're doing. So I hope you guys have a great night. I hope you got some value from this, and I will talk to you all later. Have a good night.